The straight stair has stringers that are 4 meters 50 long. To cut them on a CNC that's limited to 2 meters 50, we need to build the stringer in two parts. This video will show how to do this. Because of the tight constraints and headroom problems, this project was first set out in CAD. And here is a quick overview of the CAD drawings. You can also see that the top of the stringers need to be notched to fit the first floor joist. Here's the stair designer model. Let's use the string export function to get the DXF files to run our CNC. Here's a string DXF file in CAD. Let's refer to the original CAD drawing to get the top notch size and let's now add the notch to the string. After noting from the general drawing its position, I'm drawing the notch using standard CAD lines and commands. Stair Designer exports the shape of the string as a closed polyline. And once I've finished drawing the notch using lines, I insert it into the polyline and join them together to get one continuous polyline for the string's shape. And this will make it easy to add toolpaths for the CNC later on. We're now going to draw a puzzle joint assembly and cut the string into two parts. I start by drawing a straight joint line in the middle of the string, slightly inclined to the perpendicular. And I then draw a series of three circles. The first is a 10 mm radius circle, tangent to the joint line and the upper face of the step. The second, a 40 mm radius circle, tangent to the joint line and the first circle. And the last, another 10 mm radius circle, tangent to the previous circle on the joint line. I draw the same below the step on the other side of the joint line. Note that the actual radius of the circles can vary according to the string width and the step positions, and the way of drawing the circles tangent will also vary according to the CAD software you're using. Once the joint line and circle is drawn, I can now use a trim command to form the puzzle joint. And once trimmed, I can assemble the different lines and arcs into one polyline. My CNC has the x-axis horizontally, so my next operation is to rotate the drawing to align with the machine axes. We now have the drawing of the complete two-part string with the puzzle joint. Let's save this file to disk. To get the drawing of the upper half of the string, I select the puzzle joint polyline and trim the string elements to the puzzle joint. Once trimmed, I'm going to join the puzzle joint polyline to the outline of the string to form one continuous polyline. This drawing is now ready to be toolpathed for the CNC machine. I can now save the file as the upper part of the string. And if I do the same and trim the original drawing to the other side of the joint line, I'll have the drawing of the lower part of the string. Let's open the string drawing in V-Carve. I just need to set the string thickness and then opening the toolpath tab, I can apply a toolpath template to automatically toolpath my string. Once toolpathed, we can do a test simulation of the machining to see how it's going to look on the machine. Now all we have to do is to save the machine file, put it on a memory stick and go over to our CNC machine and cut the part. <laughs>